كثير نود يا الله في مرسم او يسا نود نود في مرسم تمر اخر تمر اخر تمر اخر واد بلاش تحر وانا كان قلب عليك خرج مرة الحر وخرج تحت عمرتي برا بلا مالك افتح مالك So much of the film is about the relationship he has with his father, with his best friend, with the tourists that come, uh, Tekla and Jan, with the little girl we saw. It's the juxtaposition of these little intimate scenes and this lone surfer out on the open ocean. I think that's it. You're always torn between the here and now and what you have and the people you have around you and all the dreams that you have. It's the story of a guy, a young man, full of life, who has the courage to live. Like a bird with big wings, but we put it in a little cage, and his wings are always like that. The story of the film is really something real, about 10 years ago. It's a real film. I think that Jan and Liam are the real people. Je pense que Yann ou Liam s'est beaucoup inspiré de certains personnages sur le village. When I first arrived there, there wasn't even a paved road to it, so it was just a dusty road leading to this mosque and then this tiny village where there were 150 people. And uh, at a certain point, I think the early 90s, the first windsurfers started to come there, and that had a massive impact on the young people in the village. Yann, c'est un ami. On fait beaucoup de windsurf ensemble. Il a commencé à écrire le film ici, au village, et je l'ai aidé un petit peu à, à trouver des trucs. J'ai jamais pensé à jouer dans ce film. Mais Yann, il a toujours. Euh, il m'a jamais dit, mais il a toujours pensé que c'était moi. J'ai déjà basé une grande partie part du script et un personnage sur lui. Et j'étais espérant qu'il soit un bon acteur. Et puis, quand il a montré pour l'audition, c'était encore mieux que je pensais. There's no one else who could be on the ocean in so much cold and windsurf and do all these things, all the stunts himself and, uh, and, and be a great actor at the same time. Every single audition we did after we decided for Efta, uh, we had Efta. Like he did so many auditions, which was actually great because it was a way for him to practice acting. He is going to determine everything. Everybody that we cast has to fit him. He was in Holland and we took two scenes and we worked on it to see if we would have a click and uh, we had. It was quite instantly a good vibe. I felt uh, even though he's not an actor that we could really work on, this, on scenes together. Ça, c'est pas un acteur, mais il s'en sort parce qu'il fait des efforts énormes. Il veut être à la hauteur. C'est ce qui a donné de, 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 de la force à Ftah. Mohamed Majd, I had seen in a movie uh, a thousand months, mille mois, a Moroccan movie, and it's my favorite Moroccan movie. They looked very similar. In the way they stood, in the way they talked, they were kind of similar characters, so I thought this would be a great father and son. Walid. Everything about we saw is just magical. I remember we saw came in without me seeing it because I was sitting with my back to the door and and I looked back and it was like wow okay bang. We had an audition and we had many kids come in. I saw pictures and uh, she uh, she did her audition and it was fantastic. <laughs> Okay. 
Il a une cousine qui s'appelle Rahma. Elle aime beaucoup. Elle a tombé amoureuse de Ftah. Mais Ftah, elle ne fait pas attention à elle. Il a toujours le rêve d'aller à l'Europe, de découvrir l'Europe et tout. Et c'est pas bien pour Rahma, bien sûr. I think it definitely um, reflects a part of Moroccan society and then it's kind of strangely mixed with my views on the world and my experience as a human being. Okay. One more? Yes. Yeah.